Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to the next episode of our Let's Play of Sim Airport. Um, we're at the end of day four, we had a pretty busy day um, and we are now moving on to the fifth day. At the moment we still have the runway, at the moment we still have the runway not upgraded with night light, so we can't accept flights during the evening. Um, so we only we only accept flights during the day, but our schedule is pretty full at least in the morning. If uh, let's have a quick look. If and when something opens up for the afternoon that we can accept, we uh, this one we need a bit more. Uh, so these are still the night flights as per the last time we checked. Okay, so as and when things open up for the afternoon, we can add a few more flights. But our top priority now will be to keep things running smoothly so that we can raise 25k for the nighttime landings uh, for the night lights so that we can get the nighttime landings up and going yes so that will that will help us a lot um, the next uh, apart from that what we'll do is we'll try and expand a little bit to add uh, offices for the uh, CEO and CFO so we can hire those two guys and that that should should uh, should open up some more more options for us. In the meantime, we can also start looking at finance and uh, operations research to be able to hire those those two. But I'm going to hold off on that until I've got enough money for the upgrade to the runway. Okay, our first passengers are arriving for the 4 a.m. flight. Everything is still going smoothly. Actually, I'll uh, speed that up a little bit. We don't have to check everything. Double and triple check everything. Ooh. Things are getting busy. Uh, we probably can do with some more seating, but I'm not going to worry too much about that for now. Uh, okay, we should get the flight coming in right now. Oh, we already have terminal usage is quite high, so this plane is pretty full. Uh, oh, I can't see how much people are in there. Anyway, we've got 140 people needing to board this flight. Um, they're practically all in the queue already. So I don't think we'll uh, struggle too much to get those guys on board six more somewhere stuck getting through security the baggage is going nicely people are picking it up it's still pretty quick to get untidy in here but outside is is not bad because we've added the bins okay so we're boarding these guys uh, yeah and it's going pretty quickly now but to be honest, I thought this plane was supposed to leave already. I'm going to pause it quickly. So it's 6:22 according to the schedule, right? The 4 p.m. flight, the 4 a.m. Sorry, 4 a.m. flight should leave at 6 a.m. And I don't understand why it's 6:22 and this flight is still depart 6 a.m. Changes made will take effect beginning tomorrow. Right click to terminate this flight okay fine but I don't understand so that's that flight but it's still got like 30 minutes left and I don't understand why that is the case if the scheduled departure is 6 a.m. anyway keep running because this guy should have come in at 6 a.m. and he needs to leave at 8 okay keep going oh let's have a quick check I want to pause and see uh, how many? 140. So we've got all of them on there, and I believe it was it's left on time. Okay, let's see this one starting boarding pretty soon. Starting boarding in about 20 more minutes, and we'll also get another flight coming in at around 8 for this one, which is about the same time this one should leave. So let's see. Okay, 37 minutes. So this is this is pretty pretty much correct okay get boarding quickly 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 ah I see the time on this this timer seems to be running slower than the actual timer 
so that's probably why we have this as a concern okay but we're boarding we're boarding everybody is on and we're off just just over, over eight this one pretty small plane going excellent we're on 25k at, at the moment I think with the next flight once we get this up a little bit more we'll upgrade the runway lights and then make a move from there on, on in terms of uh, getting the research done I like this uh, passenger satisfaction needs boredom 100% satisfied so no one's bored it seems cleanliness is a bit of a problem bladder needs information I think everything's going needs hunger so the hunger is probably the problem and the needs rest it needs frustration okay um, okay so I think we'll we'll eventually go on to cafes and the like come on get boarding but we should be able to okay there comes another one yes that's it that's popped us up a bit more okay let's pause just briefly and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the uh, the runway upgrade so the runway lights um, allow for nighttime operations at the airport okay I'm gonna do this so must be placed on the runway okay there we go runway upgrade and now we should be able to extend our operations into the evening this will make a big difference to us okay let's let's keep going I will immediately let's see 79 of 79 on board still got plenty of time for for this boarding operation to start okay there we go okay let's have a quick look what we've got over here I want oh there's plenty of flights let me quickly pause here and have a look I want afternoon flights I want nighttime flights let's see Aerostar I can't take what that's a morning flight now I'm pretty much full on full up in the morning I can't accept any more morning flights so that's it can't do that on star flight we've got Ooh, we've got some 767s in the evening why can we not request at least one runway to be upgraded with lights oh, okay so I have to wait for those upgrades to, to take place um, but by the way I might I, I might grab a few afternoon flights if we have some um, so here are our aero time galactic point night time night time um, west jet it's got a morning flight Pacific Airlines have a night and a morning flight. Star Flight has got a 767 in the afternoon, which I will accept immediately. That's great stuff. And then Aerostar has got night flights, morning flight, but it's got other night flights, bigger, bigger planes. So that's it for now. I think there's no other afternoon flights, and once the uh, the lights have been upgraded, so the afternoon flight. What is this? This is a 767. This is a 767. Hmm. What I might do is I might spread that out a little bit there and I'll probably get a smaller flight to drop into uh, into this slot just so that we don't have the, <coughs> excuse me, have the 767s right next to each other. Okay, that seems seems reasonable and we'll see what's happening with the uh, with the runway upgrade. But all of this is working seems to be working quite well. <clears throat> okay let's see boarding should commence still worried a little bit about the fact that the staff takes about five minutes after boarding should start to get here but we should be able to manage that fairly well okay what's happening over here garbage collection I like the fact that garbage is way at the end um, because it allows this operation to take place but I must also say that this is too much garbage takes too long to get get done okay uh, we need to keep an eye on that because once this kind of stacks up we we will stop getting drop-offs and people will not make their flight and so on and so on so it's important for us to to keep an eye on this and what you can do is you can actually um, break the deadlock I don't quite know what that means but you can't take you can tell the, the truck to leave um, and and we might do so uh, 
I'll give it a little bit more. The drop-offs can still occur. Let's quickly check the status. Are we... No, there's not, we're not expecting any more for today. This is the last one. So how many are we boarding here? 102. And we should be able to do that fairly easily. I must say, I think since the installation of the garbage bins, the airport is much, much cleaner and also a greater environment to work in. Oh, excellent. I think we are doing pretty well, actually. And we have an upgraded runway, to be honest. So let's try try that again. I'll put a pause on that quickly and we'll again try to accept the nighttime flights. We can. So let's start with the big ones. Okay, I'll take two of these ones. Okay, let's quickly pop up in the schedule and see where they are. What I'm wondering about though is the fact that they... So this is a big one too, right? So what we'll do is I'll pop that one all the way to the end um, and probably do this. So these are two 767s. Might... Okay, for, nah, can we... Uh, let's see. Let's see about one more, one more night time. I might s uh, spread this one over a little bit like that, just to give us a little bit. Or what is that? Or what I can do? Hang on. Who requests an afternoon landing? Afternoon landing. <laughs> so yeah, clearly afternoon is not great. Okay, <clears throat> let's do that. Okay, and I can definitely fit in at least one more night time. One more nighttime flight and probably a fairly big one. Uh, what's the seven? Wow, this is huge. Um, this is. Can we accept it? No, we can't. I thought I thought that might be a, a problem actually. Um, nighttime. How many of this? This is the Bombardier. 75 max, and then the 707. I would probably take that one. Um, if there's nothing else. I'd probably take that one. Let's see. WestJet as a morning. Starflight as a morning. Does it actually say what time it is? Because one thing that I am a bit funny about afternoon. Oh, we can't accept that one. Night flight 707. Um, it's 180. These guys like us a lot, right? And they pay us. 3,400 uh, dollars per scheduled flight. Um, they pay runway, airport and the runway usage prices and flight cancellations. If I go to Aero Time, they Aero Time's primary. Oh, there's primary concerns. Airport and the runway usage price. This is lower than what the other guys pay us. So you're missing their flights, flight cancellations. So their concerns is flight cancellations, airport usage prices. So if I increase my prices, they'll probably think a little bit less of me. But what I'm doing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept this flight, okay, and go to my schedule, and that one you will see has popped in there. So that's that's how it looks. If there is any, if there's another afternoon flight, I could potentially add that but I think I've gone through these things a few times now and there are no more afternoon flights for me to pick up yeah no more afternoon flights to pick up well apart from the really big ones for which I would need some <coughs> a bit more capacity okay so for now we'll keep going on that basis um, unfortunately that leaves us to kind of the end of the day um, our money is not bad, but I, don't, I still think, okay, what I can probably do is I'll probably start the research on these two things. Um, yeah, so that can go ahead, and then once that's finished, we'll hopefully have about, I think about two days worth of cash will will allow us to build some offices over here, maybe even expand this operation and that operation. I think what I'll do is I'll probably expand this entire section here um, including offices, a strip of offices, uh, move the ticketing area in there, and so on. Oh, what I wanted to do was destroy that, which is an absolute pity that we have to do that, 
and I want to uh, move it in here like this so the light needs to go the, to that direction. There we go. Oh, I think, I think that might have not really ended up costing us much. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I would like to expand this. What's happening over here? Please go home. You've got stuck on the door or something. Okay, garbage was picked up appropriately. We've got drop-offs not coming in. Okay, so that's the end of the day. The airport is looking pretty good. I might add some more seating because that was a bit of a concern. A bench or two. Can I do that? I can do that. So let's do that and that. Add some benches in there. Um, and what I'll add, also add, is some more of the um, <clears throat> flight information displays. Probably just going to put it, say, there and there. That should, that should do the trick. Now I'm out of money. At least uh, we should have another flight in about two hours. There we go. Get through the security. The queuing is working. The security is working. This is now working. Uh, sorry, this is now going in the right direction. This is our security operation. Let me do a quick screenshot of that. Okay, here it comes. I've got some some money for the terminal usage. Get through there. How many passengers? 165. And start boarding. There we go. First class is going. Making their way in there. This is and the other one is in here. Is, are we going to get everybody boarded? Oh, with 20, yeah, with plenty of time to spare. There we go, plenty of time to spare. But I must say, there's something funny about that schedule, really. Okay, much smaller flight. It is boarding. It's filling up nicely. And there we go. And everybody's on there. Pretty much on time. This one is emptying nicely. There we go. Start boarding. Start boarding. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh, what I should do is I probably should add another garbage bin over here. That'll help us a little bit. Oh, did we have anybody? Oh, let's just, I just want to check quickly. Yeah, everybody's on board. 90 for this one too. And we're going to start boarding any minute now. Yes, that's just going to look good too. Keep going. And the next one's coming in. I must say, this is working incredibly smoothly at the moment. And I think in order for us to start accepting a bit more, we would need to expand some of these operations as well as... We would need an extra plane stand. That, that would be the minimum requirement, I believe. Is this going? Pretty good. Only 109. The other thing is, none of these planes have been particularly full, which is uh, part of the reason why it's been going so easily. What's happening over here? Traffic is still good. 767. Rush it out. I like the split that we're creating here. The flow of passengers to the to the to the exit channel works really well. This is a really good flow. I think the only thing that we need to do will expand baggage claim, um, and we will also expand um, the the ticketing area and the security area to 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 accommodate more flights. That one's out. This one's in. It's like a well-oiled machine. This. Lots and lots of people coming out of this one again, and it's working really well. There 
There we go, it's boarding nicely. This is pretty full, 140. Well, not full, it takes 250, but it's only 140 here. There we go, and then we've got a 707 in here. Wow, that is a pretty full 707. Much fuller than the 767s we've been, we've been used to accommodating. Mm -hmm. Let's hang on one second, I think. Let's just slow this down a little bit. I think now we're starting to see some problems happening over here. It's clearly quite busy with, uh, with the security queue starting to become a problem because this is going to start boarding now. And, um, well, there's, there's, a, there's a bit of time, so let's speed it up a little bit and see what's happening with this. Good. What I am happy about is the bank balance. The bank balance is doing really, really well. So our expansion plan should be, we should be able to accommodate our expansion plans. Um, what can I do here? Shall I add, try and add another security check? in here I don't think so I think I'll have to expand this area and, uh, and I think it's it's an imminent expansion that's required we've got most of the people here and I think it's this this planes people that's that's currently stuck in here I think we've got most of the people here and we'll probably end up getting this all of these guys in I think so I think this is going to be fine security is working quite efficiently 30 minutes left when will this start boarding? Still in a few minutes, but I am worried there's not a lot of people here. And we've got everybody on there. This one is the problem, but I think most of them are there now. Are, are going to make it through there. Um, and boarding here is starting now. Okay. We've really made a lot of cash in this on, on today, basically. Once we started adding these flights, we've made a lot of cash. Okay, and everybody is through security, pretty much. There we go. The last stragglers are getting through there. There's still, well, I don't necessarily think there's an hour left according to the schedule, but it, it, we're filling it up nicely now. I don't think anybody will be left behind. We've got a spare, a, a spare plane stand should something come in landing, but our next flight is coming in at, at four. So all in all, a very, very effective day. I must say and there goes the last one and this plane is pulling out so we'll uh, see this one off and then call it call it the end of this episode there you go so that's another extremely successful day um, it's extremely successful day in some airport uh, so we'll we'll look into we've made made a lot of money we'll look into the expansion um, tomorrow some airport tomorrow uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to expand this airport even further make it even more efficient okay so i've been uh, exact chaos and this is some airport exactly thank you bye bye